Kelly. You are very funny. Me, Ukarj. Yes, I know. Uh, I watch your whole you. thing. You have so many projects. That I'm tired listening yeah. Yeah, to yeah. his jobs. <laughs> you yeah. work hard for the money. Working hard yeah. for the money. Yeah, good for uh, you. So wait, is it true that your parents, um, they brought a tour bus of people to your show once? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, for better or worse. I was in Sarasota, which is where a lot of old people in Florida are. I mean, okay. it's not all old people. Somebody has to run things. <laughs> um, there's, there are young people down there, but they're very busy taking care of this entire community of cocoon. It's like cocoon. Oh my they God, just I come loved out. cocoon. I did too, and it really happens at my mom and dad's golf course. At 8 a.m., boom, it is cocoon. Oh there's thousands of old people. They're organized. Living their best life. Uh, and they're chop chop. They, they've had lasagna and breakfast. And, you it's know, all on military time. Oh my, they're so into it, right? Yeah. But I did a show there at some theater thing and my dad goes well one of the gals at the golf course got a tour bus so uh, we'll just be rocking up front well there were 60 of them in it and then they showed up and some security guard goes yo you got a mama named Vicky and I went yeah I knew this wasn't gonna be good <laughs> he goes well her and your dad and a bunch of other people forgot their identification and vax cards I'm like, how did you leave the house with no ID? And my dad goes, we're so old, nobody asks for it anymore. <laughs> oh okay, so then he, they come in, we got him in, and then he said, is there any way you can come on the bus? And, you know, I go, you want me to go do my act on the bus? You just saw it. He goes, you got another 10 minutes in you, come on. <laughs> so Aww. I went out and did comedy on That's the bus. That's nice. But as, a, as just it. to make them feel bad for forgetting their stuff, I go, since you guys didn't show up with your correct paperwork, I'm gonna make you count off like you're in grade school. And if there's not 60 of you, if there's one crazy old lady in the bathroom, she's getting locked in. <laughs> We're not, I'm not going to find your friends. They're, they're here or they're not. Um, well, your special is called Kathleen Madigan Hunting Bigfoot. So why are you hunting for Bigfoot? No, I'm not actively okay. hunting. It would, I would have been a more fun <laughs> answer if you said yes. yes. No, I, there was a comedian who was, and then I saw how intense it got, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be. Oh, uh, like he was real he about was it. for real. Like Aww. there were books, and then I expressed a little bit of interest. Okay. Huge error. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that with an enthusiast. Yeah. Because then they think you're on board. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean all that. I just meant yeah. I think it's out there. There's a creature Ah, somewhere in Washington. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to go look for it. I don't. But me and another comedian had to drive through like Oregon and Washington, and I was talking to him about what would we do if we hit one. Like it's worth millions of dollars. So if you hit oh, like this if you Bigfoot, actually hit it with your car. Yeah, because of COVID, they were coming into town. Well, not Bigfoots, but you know, yeah. animals were yeah. coming into town. And I was like, what if we hit it? Like we need a plan. So then that's what I call my special. It's all about my plan of if you hit one, what you should do and what you should not do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm that. thinking if you hit what is supposed to be a Bigfoot, like something large, you might die. Well, there's two scenarios. You've hit it and it's injured. <laughs> now it's under the wheel well, just Wah! it's really angry. <laughs> leave it there. That's terrible, right. Yeah. Try to get off the, get yeah. your rental car off of it yeah. and leave. Then the other one is it's dead, but yeah. now what? What if there's another one around, like uh, it's partner? We don't know if they move or in packs. Or it's kid, we don't know. Yeah. We don't know if they Because so far it's fictional. <laughs> that's terrifying. We don't know if, what it would do, but so anyway, that's- I what, keep thinking uh, Harry and the Hendersons. Do you remember too. that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like, All I see is top. Harry right now. Yeah. yeah I love yeah. that car. What would you do? I don't know, you need to think about it. If it's under the car and it's a rental car, now do I have insurance? Like have I paid for the insurance? <laughs> Well, that depends. This is an old on... person response. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a 39 response. Well, 30, 30. How much am I going to tell them the gone. truth? But then there's all that hair. They're going to know. Like, you can't. Yeah. It's yeah. like a crime scene. You can't clean it up that easily. It's hairy. <laughs> I mean, I just picture, like, red-brown hair everywhere in the wheel well, and Avis won't understand. Mm -hmm. They don't care. You're just going to have to pay for it. Right. I take it back, and they're just going to write, check, check. She ruined that. She ruined that. She ruined that. Also, I'm like, no, 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 but it's found Bigfoot. Yeah. 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 I don't think they'd care.